So in this video, we're looking at homogeneous catalysis, and it is worth knowing how to spell homogeneous. And homogeneous catalysis is where the catalyst and the reactants are in the same phase. So that might be for transition metals, a transition metal compound and the reactants are both in solution. Or in this case, it's where the reactants and the catalyst are both gases. So the reaction that we're going to look at is where chlorine radicals are catalyzing the breakdown of ozone in the stratosphere. So this is something we looked at in um, the ozone topic. Um, and it's something that's really relevant here as well. So just a quick rap recap from ozone. Um, in the stratosphere, we can generate chlorine radicals by the homolytic fission. So that's breaking with the electrons going, um, the same number going to each atom to form chlorine radicals. Now you can also, um, you can also form chlorine radicals from CFCs or similar compounds, um, but here the only important thing is that we have formed our chlorine radicals. Your chlorine radicals can then go on and react with ozone. And that produces a chlorate radical and oxygen. So in this reaction here, we have um, we have lost an ozone molecule. So we've got one less ozone molecule. So that's destroyed one ozone molecule. Our chlorate radicals can then go on to react with an oxygen radical. And that might that radical might have been produced by um, ozone being um, being split up into oxygen and an oxygen radical. So the chlorate radical could react with another oxygen radical and that would produce another oxygen molecule and regenerate the chlorine radical. So we say that chlorine acts as a catalyst for this reaction. And the first way to show that is to look at these two reactions here. And you can see that chlorine um, is used in the first reaction, but it's produced in the second reaction. So the chlorine radical that is used to react with the ozone is then produced again at the end of the second reaction. So you've got the same number of chlorine radicals. So the chlorine radicals are not used up. These chlorine radicals produced here can then go on to react with more ozone. And then the second reaction happens, produce more chlorine radicals, react with more ozone. So the chlorine is catalyzing it. Um, and we know that because it's not being used up. Sometimes you're also asked to combine two equations to show um, that the chlorine radical is uh, a catalyst. And if it's a catalyst, it shouldn't appear in the equation because it's not being used up or produced. So let's see if we can combine these two equations together. And when you're combining equations, you basically have to write all the reactants on one side, all the products on the other, and then just cancel anything that appears on both sides. So we have our chlorine radical and ozone, and our other reactants are the chlorate radical and an oxygen radical. And then we've got our products, a chlorate radical, an oxygen, and another oxygen, and a chlorine radical. And then we can look at what we can cancel. So what have we got that is on both sides, both in the reactants and the products? Well, we've got two chlorine radicals, and we've got two chlorate radicals. And so if we write out that equation, we then have ozone reacting with oxygen, making two oxygen molecules. So ozone reacting with an ox oxygen radical to produce two oxygen molecules. And that reaction is being catalyzed by chlorine because the chlorine is involved in the first stage and it's produced again by the second stage. So it's not used up 
and it doesn't appear in the overall reaction equation. So this is the overall equation. And these, you could say, are stages in the mechanism.